On March 27, 1964, at 5.36 p.m., a chilling silence fell over the landscape of Alaska. It was a moment poised on the brink of catastrophe. The state, known for its rugged beauty and formidable wilderness, was about to endure one of the most powerful earthquakes ever recorded in North American history. The quake, later known as the Great Alaska Earthquake, struck with a magnitude of 9.2, making it the second most powerful earthquake in the world to be recorded on a seismograph at that time. The epicenter was located about 75 miles east of Anchorage, near Prince William Sound, but its impact was felt across the state. As the earth began to tremble, it was not just a fleeting shake but a violent upheaval that lasted for an agonizing four to five minutes. Roads ripped apart, trees swayed violently as if in a storm, and buildings that had stood for decades crumbled and fell. In Anchorage, the state's largest city, approximately 30 blocks of buildings were damaged or destroyed. The ground fissures and collapsing structures turned the city into a scene of devastation. But the earthquake was just the beginning. The seismic event triggered massive tsunamis that ravaged the coastline. In places like Valdez, the waterfront was obliterated. The local port, vital for the town's economy in connection to the rest of the state, was destroyed as giant waves, some as high as 100 feet, crashed ashore, carrying boats and debris inland and claiming lives with ruthless indifference. Elsewhere, landslides were triggered by the quake's immense forces. In the Tinnegan Heights neighborhood of Anchorage, the land slid away, taking homes with it and altering the landscape irreversibly. The earth itself seemed to turn against those who called it home. Yet, amidst the widespread destruction, there were stories of resilience and heroism. Communities came together to rescue those trapped and to provide shelter and food to those displaced. Emergency teams, aided by the military, worked tirelessly in the chaotic aftermath to restore order and commence the long process of rebuilding. The aftermath of the earthquake brought significant changes in how earthquakes were understood and prepared for, not just in Alaska but around the world. Scientists flocked to the state to study the effects, leading to advancements in seismology and earthquake engineering. The disaster also led to stricter building codes, designed to withstand seismic events, a legacy that has undoubtedly saved lives in subsequent earthquakes. Today, the memory of the 1964 earthquake is a reminder of the awesome power of nature and the resilience of the human spirit. Monuments and plaques across the affected areas commemorate the lives lost and the communities changed forever. The earthquake underscored the importance of preparedness and the strength of community, leaving a lasting impact on the heart and soul of Alaska. Duration and intensity, the earthquake lasted an unusually long time, approximately four and a half minutes. Most earthquakes last less than a minute, so the duration of this quake contributed significantly to the extensive damage. Geological Changes The earthquake caused massive geological changes, including the lifting of some islands in Prince William Sound by as much as 30 feet. Such dramatic alterations to the landscape are rare even in major seismic events. Postquake Phenomena Following the quake, Areas of the ocean floor in the Gulf of Alaska dropped by over 20 feet, leading to tsunamis that reached heights of up to 220 feet in some locations, one of the highest ever recorded. Far-reaching effects, the tsunamis generated by the earthquake affected regions as far away as California, Oregon, and even Japan, illustrating the far-reaching impact of seismic events in subduction zones. Psychological impact, the unexpected timing and severity of the quake on Good Friday, a major holiday, added a psychological layer of impact, intertwining natural disaster with a significant religious observance for many. Unexpected survivals, despite the scale of destruction, 
some areas and structures surprisingly survived the intense shaking and tsunamis, which has been a subject of study for understanding building resilience against earthquakes.